All right, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to talk about the difference between sales and begging for clients. This is a huge problem that a lot of coaches come to me and ask me about. And uh, today we're going to address it, and I hope this helps you a lot. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to break this down first into coaches who beg prospects to become clients, and this is what normally happens. Right, you're on a on a sales call with a prospect who is interested in your program, and then when you start talking about price or you talk about the commitment, the prospect will always dictate the terms and be like, "Oh, well, we can't pay that much. Can we pay you this much?" And then what happens is the coach starts to negotiate with the prospect. Now, I will tell you just from experience, if you do that with prospects that turn into clients, those are going to be really bad clients because what's happening is they're not pay paying and investing the full price that you asked for in the first place. And the question I have for you is, you know, how much of a disservice is that to your current clients who are paying full price? Like if you're letting someone come in and they're dictating how much they pay you, that's really disrespectful to the clients who did pay full price for your program, right? So I don't like that. I don't like doing business that way. Um, the word will always get out <laughs> if you do that. Like there's a difference between giving discounts if someone prepays up front or they prepay with conditions of getting you referrals. That, that's different. But if you just give someone a discount because they can't afford it um, and they dictate how much they pay you, like that's not good. And a lot of coaches who beg for clients, they do that. They try to create deals with their clients and they never get paid in full or they don't, they don't charge what they are worth and they negotiate the deal just to get paid right and at the end of the day they they come off as you know begging for clients because normally when people beg for clients they do anything and they they do a lot of desperate stuff to close a sale even if they don't get paid the full amount right now in the short term that stuff can work right i'm all about coaches being scrappy at the beginning of their business but the thing is, is you have to graduate out of that mindset. You, you can't do anything long-term in business if you do that. Like your business will never be uniform, right? So if you're the type of person who's always like constantly negotiating with clients, they, they don't wanna pay the full amount and you have this like under the deal table with them, long-term your business is done, all right? I can promise you. Now, there's a difference between begging for clients and selling right and here's the difference when you sell your program you have like the highest level of conviction that what you're charging and what you offer and all the benefits of your program and the transformation that you sell like everything is on par right and it should get to the point where when you sell your program whatever the investment is you know that if you were the consumer, you would absolutely pay that amount and you would pay more than the amount that you're charging, right? That's the way I like to look at it, right? And this is the thing, when you're really confident in your program, you want to charge more because you have a higher sense of, of conviction and self-belief that what you offer is great for the client. And why would you charge a low amount to your client if you have a great product, if you're solving a big problem, right? So when you sell your program, all right, you are not begging, all right? There's, there's two types of ultimate salespeople out there. It's those who beg that get bad clients that never get paid what they're worth and those who sell their program with conviction. They have a lot of confidence. They're clear with their offer and they know they're, they're charging what they're worth, right? And the only way to really charge what you're, what you're worth is when you really frame out what you're offering and you really frame out, you know, who is my program for and what is the end result that the client should get if they work with me. And when you have that dialed in, you never negotiate with people. Like it's very easy for me to get on a call with someone 
And you know, if they don't respect my price or my program, I'll just be like, all right, great. How else can we help you today? Or I'll try to transition them into a different type of program. But the thing is, is like, if you negotiate with clients, you're always going to be in a lose-lose situation because anytime someone negotiates with you, they're going to know that they have you, all right? They have you like this, <laughs> right? And there's nothing you can do to get out of that when you start the relationship off on that note. I hope this helps you out and, you know, don't be desperate, don't be greedy, don't try to do anything for the sale. You need to believe in your pricing, you need to believe in what you're worth as a coach. And I, I can sit here and create videos about it all day long, but like you have to do it, all right? You have to have that conviction. You have to have that self-belief that what you offer is great. And the only way to really like master that is by just getting a lot of reps and talking to parents over and over and over and over um, until you got it down, right? Until you have your script down. And it's like, I could wake you up at three o'clock in the morning and you know exactly what to say and how to close someone, all right? That's the level I'm talking about. That's it for today's video. If you want more business coaching and you want some one-on-one -on -one help, go check out my program. If you go to the first link in the description, all you have to do is click on that. You'll go watch a short video. Uh, from there, you can apply for my program. That puts you into a, a 15 to 20 minute call with me on Zoom. And I'll look at your business. I'll see what you need help with. I'll see if you're a good fit. Um, I do that on the first call. If I feel like you're a good fit, I'll invite you to a second call and then I'll show you my program and I'll show you everything that we have and, and how it can help you. And then from there, you can decide to join our program or not, all right? Not gonna negotiate with you. <laughs> um, what we have is, is a good fit for a lot of people who are serious about helping kids and they wanna grow their sports business. So that's it, I'll catch you later and uh, have a great rest of the week.